Hello guys, and welcome back to the Half-Life walkthrough for the PC, played on the Difficult Difficulty. This is not the Source version released through Steam. This is the original 1998 release. I'm Big Mac Davis, and this is Chapter 7, Power Up. Alright, let's go down the hallway. And oh my gosh, what is that thing? Go to the left of where that thing is, into this hallway, and when the first marine dies, go down the hallway to destroy these barrels and kill the two Vortigaunts. That is his primary attack, superheated steam. And meet the Gargantua, everybody, a huge half-alien, half-robot creation. His secondary attack is stomping the ground to send out these red sparkles your way. He is also invincible to all gunfire. You can't kill him through any conventional means. So we'll just ignore him right now until we have the power turned on. So let's head down the power generator hallway. But you'll soon find out it's a dead end because of the falling debris. So now we'll go back and take the other hallway. Track control. When you get to this pipe shooting out superheated steam, or fire, try to get these Vortigaunts to walk into the superheated flame. You know, if they want to. And that's always fun to do. But sometimes they don't always die their first time going through, and that's kind of funny. Now you can toss a grenade inside this hole to kill all four of the head crabs down there. So yeah, simple as that. Over the next railing, you can kill two head crabs down below. And when you walk on this walkway, it will collapse. Fall down below, and then break these crates. Did you see what I just picked up? We now have machine gun grenades. You can launch these at enemies, and they will explode on impact. But we'll use them for a later time. For right now, we'll just continue on down the hallway. just headshot the Vortigaunt down there with the machine gun. When this debris happens, when it falls down, be prepared for a head crab being revealed up in this dark area up there. And there he is. And when you walk down further, these two head crabs will also lower, so kill them as well. And there's a health machine over there if you need it. So now we'll continue on. Now when you round this next corner, peek in, then peek out, and let them commit suicide against all those barrels, those Vortigaunts. Use this wheel to open up the door. Now the sound of the door opening will always be here for some reason, I don't know why, but it will disappear once we move on. Have your magnum ready, do not fall into that sludge down below, and climb up the first ladder. Then quickly look up, and shoot that marine up there. Did he commit suicide? I don't know, but I guess we'll find out. We'll just head inside this area. Gross. What is inside there? I wonder. It's a bull squid, so we'll just grenade him to death. Since you know I want to kill all the enemies anyway. So now we'll go back out, and we'll go up the next ladder. I'm still wondering if that marine is still alive. If he is, we'll just kill him. The magnum is a great weapon to use against marines. Yep, there's two of them. So that first Marine was the Marine who saw us earlier. But now both of them are now dead, and you see how fast I killed them. Be careful of this turret around the left corner. Just grenade him. 
or it. And there's a health machine here if you need it. Biohazard Infectious Waste. Yes, indeed. And here's a map of the, um, of this map, actually. And maintenance shaft, high voltage area. We'll be visiting all those places eventually. Now inside this crate is some crossbow ammo, but we don't have a crossbow yet. But we'll get that later on. Kind of like foreshadowing of, of a good weapon to come. Bash some more crates, grab some ammo from that table there. And then we can just continue on down the hallway. Now don't destroy those explosive crates, they'll come in handy later. For right now, carefully turn right and see those crates. There's a marine behind those sandbags. Well, there was a marine behind those sandbags. <laughs> Go inside the underground bunker here, and you can grab some grenades and some health. So now we'll continue on past the sandbag area. Now when you come to the bottom of this ramp right here, turn around and blast that marine who appears there. Don't miss him. And yeah, a marine committed suicide on a trip mine up there. Now they give us a trip mine here for a reason. Let's go ahead and use one. We're going to carefully maneuver our way up the ramps and place a trip mine about right here in the entrance to the doorway. And then back away and see this vent shaft right there. Shoot the vent covering. Some head crabs will fall out and the marines will start shooting them for you. And when they're done, they'll see you and guess what they'll do? They'll walk right into the laser trip mine just like that. Now you'll have to peek into the doorway to alert the others. You could place more trip mines if you want, but they're kind of quick. And yes, you can headshot the marines that have the masks on. The magnum can actually penetrate their thick armor like that. I know there's more marines down the left side, so we'll go down there. See what I mean by the sheer power of this magnum? Two shots to the body and they're dead. One shot to the head and they're dead. It's just amazing weapon to use against them. Alright, so from where we entered this doorway, we're gonna turn right first and turn right again to our first ammo stash which are two machine gun clips so grab those and if you want only if you want you can destroy this machine there and it will shoot out some superheated fire like before you have to jump over it and destroy this vent grating to release three head crabs and you can get them to walk right in the fire but this is not entirely recommended it's just more funny than safe What I would recommend is just ignoring that machine completely. And if you want to get the kills, just crowbar them to death. Or if you don't care about kills, don't shoot that grating to begin with. It's up to you, really. But this is definitely the funnier, the funnier way to kill the head crabs up there. Bash some more crates, and we get some health. Go down the stairs now. And, well, since they give us grenades, we might as well use one on these crates to destroy them quicker than the crowbar. You can just grab the items that are here. And we'll just destroy this explosive crate. And then we'll just move on. And we've explored that one side, so now we'll go back through that doorway and explore the left side. We'll come back to this lift later on. You'll see when we do it later on. There's an HEV machine, so use that. And there's a crate over here, so bash that. And get some more health. And that's it, we've made one full revolution around. So now what we're gonna do about those explosive crates over there, we're gonna place a laser trip mine 
right here in front of those crates. Because I know what's coming up next. After we go down that lift, more Marines will show up. Now, when you enter this doorway here, what I do is I place a trip mine to the left of the doorway and to the right of the doorway. You'll see why these placements will come in handy later on. For right now, we're going to go ahead and use the lift. You have to press the button, then get on the lift quickly. Now down here, kill the hound eye quickly because you don't want him to detonate these trip mines. And yeah, get off the elevator quickly. So how do we navigate this area? Well, we just fall down in the water to avoid the trip mines altogether. We want to save them for a trap later. Poor hound eye never saw what was coming. And there's some more hound eyes in this area. There's three of them total. Oh, <laughs> poor sweetnesses. It almost pains me to kill them, because they just want to play. I think even a Half-Life article on the wiki mentioned this. Poor hound eyes. Oh well, they're enemies, so I kill them. So all hound eyes in the area are destroyed. We now have to go up this ramp and then down these stairs. Now make a pit stop right here to kill that head crab way over there. And then continue on down the stairs. Now in this water is something interesting. See these little squirming worms down there? Those are carnivorous leeches. And what are leeches? Well, they're exactly what you think they are. Blood-sucking little uh, 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 whatever they are. Worms? Insects? I don't know what they are. I don't care what they are. They hurt. The easiest way to kill them is crowbar. That was a nice sound. Um, there are a few leeches in this water. And, uh, oh, careful of that zombie around the corner. Um, now about these leeches, there is a set number of them so I'm going to kill them all. Um, if there wasn't a set number, like if the number constantly regenerated, then I wouldn't even bother killing one of them. But since there's a set number, I have to get all the kills because it's a 100% walkthrough, so... I'm getting all the kills, damn it. And you know, it, it is kind of fun to kill them with the crowbar. Because sometimes you get that nice, juicy, fleshy sound with the crowbar. There's a couple of them left, though. Not many. Is that all of them? Oh, there's one more at least. Is that everybody? I guess that is everybody. All the leeches are now dead. Alright, so here is the generator, but as you see, it's stuck by these crates, so we have to destroy them. Now the generator is powering up, which means now we can go back up those stairs and make a pit stop here where that dead head crab was and grab some health there if you need it from that machine. Inside here, press the left switch and the power generator is now turned on. All right. Now you have to time your run through this voltage right there. It's not that difficult, but it can hurt if you walk into it. So be careful of that. And now we'll go back up the stairs. Remember those trip mines we didn't detonate around that elevator? Well... <laughs> yeah, those bastards commit suicide on those trip mines. Two marines die. We lower the lift and then ride that one back up. But have your machine gun ready or magnum ready because at the top is a marine that you want to kill quickly. Now notice how these trip mines got blown up because there was a marine right there. He'll go either left or right. And when you walk out in the doorway 
Yeah. If you know where the Marines come from, killing them is a piece of cake. And now what we can do, like a boss, is go around and repair ourselves through HEV and med packs and weapons if we need them. But yes, this area is ridiculously easy if you place the trip mines in the right area. The reason why I placed two trip mines to the right and left of the doorway was because that marine can go either left or right. So just want to make sure. Anyway, we're done with this area, so let's just backtrack again. And then climb down both sets of ladders again. Don't fall in the sludge down below. I mean, there is a ladder to take you back up if you fall, but the sludge can damage you, so don't fall in there to begin with. Be careful around this corner. There is a Vortigaunt. But he's easy to take care of if you headshot him with the machine gun. That's the best weapon against far away Vortigaunts. Up this ladder, we'll come to this boarded up doorway later on, but for right now we have to hop across this gap, just like that. It can be sometimes difficult, so you have to try several times if you're not good at it. Now something interesting, when you get back to this Gargantua, we're going to go back down to the lower hallways. Why is this? Well, for a person like me who has to get all the kills, for some reason, and I don't know why, when you get back to that Gargantua, a Vortigaunt will spawn in right here. I don't know why that's the case, but he just does, so make sure to go back and kill him if you want all the kills. If you don't, don't worry about it at all. So now we'll go back and jump across the gap again. Now, there are three ways to deal with the Gargantua. One, you can just ignore him completely, but that is not recommended. He'll kill you very quickly. The second way is to grenade him to death. Yes, you can. It requires a lot of grenades, like eight or nine. And you can also use your um, machine gun grenades. The third way is turn on the electricity because the power generator got turned on and fry him to death. And that's what we're going to do to this gargantua. We're going to fry him to death. What you want to do is very, very quick. Rush out. Turn left quickly. Oh my gosh. He was ready for me. I don't usually take that much damage. Head over here. Go up these stairs very quickly. He's chasing you. Flip on the high voltage switch. He's dead. That's the easiest way, but for some reason I took a lot of damage. Now, what you could do is come over here, being very careful to not touch this electricity. You can't turn off the power once it's turned on. You can grab these med packs here if you're careful and quick. Then go through this passageway and through the door. And if you're a real badass, you can try to bash through these crates. You'll sometimes take damage. It's rare, but it can happen. And you can grab some grenades there. And now we'll go back down the Gargantua hallway. There's the machine gun. Alright, anyway, don't touch this electrified rail. Because as I said, it's electrified. Jump on the cart, or tram, whatever you want to call it, and let's go forward. Uh-oh. We're facing the wrong way. We need to be going that way, so what do? Well, we'll hop off and we'll go down the track control hallway again. And we'll go to that boarded up doorway, the one that I said we'd come back to. And we'll bash through. Through the doors. Uh-oh. I'm never gonna make it. You better go on without me. Oh, poor security guard. All that blood. Grab his magnum next to him and use the HEV machine. If you took a lot of damage from that Gargantua, like I did, for some reason. He doesn't usually damage me that much. Grab the ammo from here, and then flip that. That will turn the track. Or the turntable, whatever you want to call it. 
We'll jump on the tram and let's go down the large hallway. There's some barricades up here. Don't worry, your car is sturdy enough to break right through it. And hopefully this rail car will take us to the Lambda Complex so we can stop this alien invasion. But that will be for the next video on a rail. I'm Big Mac Davis and I will see you guys next time.